Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your March 2018 love reading. This is for, you know, sun, moon, rising, whatever you want to take. This is for the month of March. For the sign of Taurus. Thank you for not uh, asking and just being patient. I really appreciate that. You guys may be feeling like you're being criticized. Maybe you feel like you're being bullied in some way. Um, and it appears that you need to let go of something. You need to stand up for yourself. Maybe somebody is uh, attacking you in some way or you're feeling attacked and you're being called to just, you know, stand up for yourself. This might be a struggle. You might start the month off with some sort of struggle, but you have the ability to push through it to see something from a new perspective. I feel like somebody is closed off. You're dealing with, maybe it's you, okay? Because this is a very closed off energy and you're being called to look at things from a new perspective. With both of these reverse, it's like somebody is really stuck in their ways and not willing to budge. I think that there's some kind of budge that needs to happen. Um, so, okay. So there's a lack of compassion. There's a lack of love for oneself here. There's a lack of the ability to let something um, grow or, or something like that. Somebody is, needs to really listen to their inner guide and be open to following what they know to be right. It's like you need to have faith. Faith in the future. Faith in the divine. Faith, period. Somebody is feeling quite stuck in their ways and needs to really open up. I mean, there's a lot of uh, maybe even holding a grudge of some sort. Somebody is not being open to the possibilities, and they need to be, you know, closed off. It feels like There's a lack of love for oneself and it's time for you to refocus on what you desire. And because the thing is, is you're, you're stuck in an old way that needs to go, an old tradition, an old habit. You know, there's something that is within you that needs to be let go of. You need to really um, look, at, look at something from a new perspective in a very, very big way. Because it's not serving you. Whatever this is that you're holding on to isn't serving you. It's not giving you the comfort, the emotional support, the love that you desire. So I, I really feel like you guys are holding on to something that is not fulfilling your, your wishes and as far as emotional support goes. You're, and it has to do with you. It's, it's a way of thinking that you guys have it, that you guys have always held on to instead of really broadening your horizons and looking at things objectively. You're holding on to some old pattern that needs to go. <laughs> this is the four of pentacles i mean that just reiterated everything that i said i mean somebody is holding on tightly tightly very very tightly with a firm grip and you know that's it's not serving you anymore it's not it's like you know this is the hermit next to the hierophant this is like a it's time to really become conscious, conscious of the changes within you and let them happen. It's a time of consciousness with these two cards right together. It's like, for many of you, you're not letting yourselves grow spiritually when you should be. There's a spiritual transformation 
going on within you that you are <coughs> blocking by holding on to a old habit <coughs> or belief. You're deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself by 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 letting yourself <coughs> stay there. Wherever you're staying, it's like you're staying stuck. You're, you, and you are, again, you're staying stuck someplace. You're turning away from something. You're turning away from new growth. <coughs> and you need to stop. You need to stop. You're deceiving yourself by doing that. Okay? You're being offered some new path. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in the future. You need to have faith. You need to let yourself wake up. You need to let yourself go through these changes. You need to have confidence in yourself. You need to be willing to let yourself grow. And with the Empress card reversed, it's like you're not willing. You're not willing to let yourself grow into something more, more beautiful. When the fact of the matter is, is it's happening. You're resisting it, but it's happening. It is. You're being called to just stop criticizing yourself. Stop, stop holding on to the old you. Let yourself transform, Taurus. It's like you're, 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 you're turning away from, from this new consciousness, this new awakening. It, out of fear, fear of the unknown. You're letting the fear of the unknown hold you back. This is the moon, okay? It's time for you to step outside of your comfort zone and realize that all is not as it seems because the universe has your back. They're working in your favor. It's not as it seems, and it's never going to be as it seems. You need to have faith. You need to have faith that whatever is happening behind the scenes is working in your favor and you just need to go with it. Let yourself grow. Let yourself change. Let yourself be objective. Stop criticizing yourself. Stop pushing down your feelings. Stop pushing down your emotions. Stop holding on to what you once knew. Let yourself go beyond your current consciousness. Let me get this zoomed in. <laughs> Your inner guide is try trying to wake you up okay your inner guide is talking to you a lot this month a lot your inner guide is going to be telling you to do this to do that to step into your fear of the unknown they're going to tell you to stop deceiving yourself they're going to start telling you things your inner guide okay when you're when you have a thought that comes from within and you can't get it out of your mind that's your inner guide and your inner guide this is consciousness this is a jesus consciousness it's, and this one is too they're trying to get you to wake up. Wake up. Accept new avenues. Accept new roads. Accept newness into your life. It's time to deepen your practice. That's what's going on this month. Many of you, you know, this fear of the unknown is holding you back. It's like you're letting fear hold you back and you need to stop. Okay? Many of you may feel even a little detached because things are happening so much. You may feel like you just need to be alone to refocus on, on who you are. Do some serious soul searching. I mean, this is a month of soul searching for sure. Absolutely, I see that. You know, and you're being overly critical of yourself as well. And during this time, you may be feeling like... Um, you're withdrawn, you're cold, you're detached, and you may not want to really let go because it's scary. It's scary. Um, but you're being called to follow your hunches, look at this as a time of excitement, to uh, be, it's time to 
follow your passions with vigor, okay? Don't don't push down your newness, okay? Look at this as a time of excitement instead of a time of of fear. You guys have worked really hard on yourselves and you don't want to you don't want to uh jeopardize all the work you've done. I I see that you don't. And I feel like you're really, really scared. You're really scared to broaden your horizons because you've worked so hard. You know, it feels as though you're very skilled. And, and you know, you are very adaptable. Okay, you're very adaptable. You're very confident and you're very courageous. But at this time, I think that you're you're receiving overwhelming upgrades per se, lack of a better word, that is causing you to feel like you need to detach. You need to work this shit out. This this energy is too heavy. Many of you are kind of like ascending into a new level, and and to ascend, you have to step outside of your comfort zone and I feel like many of you are, are just at the point where you're scared to broaden your broaden your horizons because this feel may feel like a little bit too much okay you may feel like th this is this is this is too much I, I'm not sure this is happening too fast for me um, I feel like um, look at the force all is gonna turn out fine all is well. All is well, but you're you need to let the old you die, okay? Because this is the death of an idea. You need to let the old new die so that the new new life can come into you. And I think that this month is a is is about that. It's about bringing you new life. And to do that, you know, sometimes you need to detach to do this soul searching that is needed to really give yourself the time to work on yourself and. That's what's going on this month. This is a month of really working on your inner being and listening to your inner guide and shedding your past ways, shedding the the old you, shedding your old habits to let go of the old criticisms that you've held so tightly within your grips. Many of you are working hard on releasing to bring harmony and peace and contentment back to your life, to bring the excitement back, to bring the passion back, to relight the fire within. This is a month of um, rekindling your flame, okay, after holding on so tightly to the old you. Do, do do I feel like new love is coming in this month? No, I do not because this is a month of working on you, Taurus. It's a month of 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 healing yourself from past wounds, past traumas, past ways, past habits no longer serve you so that you can be the best that you can be. So I think that this is a month of detachment and solitude and going within to work out your fears that you have that your fears of the unknown that you have so so tightly avoided and as you work out this fear you you start to vibrate on a higher level you're raising your vibration that's what's going on here you're raising your vibration to the the, the best possible um beauty that you can be you know, and, and I just really feel like this is a, a month of working on me, working on you, working on us, working on releasing so that we can transcend or transition into the new awakening. <sighs> Interesting. I'm gonna get you one of these. This is a this is like a self self care card or something like that. We're gonna get one of these. Oh, this is it. And this is what's going on. Rejuvenation. And this is exactly what's going on.
get a good night's sleep. Rejuvenate your body, mind, and spirit. The month of March is truly about rejuvenation. Use this time wisely to rejuvenate your soul. In the end, you will be vibrating very, very high. So this month of March is, is about um, releasing the old and becoming the new. I don't feel like there's any new love coming in because I feel like you will be detached while you are working on you. If you are a couple, this, this, this still stands. It's a time of healing. It's a time of releasing so that you can be the best you that you can be. That's what this month is about. It's about inner healing. And that takes work. Rejuvenate your body, mind, and spirit. It's time. Don't you think? I will be doing weekly love readings.